Hi everybody, Nate Lind here from Website Closures and I have uh, Chris McCarthy here with me. He has recently gotten a big whopping wire in his bank account from referring one of his clients from his digital marketing agency and his, his service uh, to Website Closures. Um, we offer uh, a 10% referral on our commissions for anybody that sends us uh, business. Uh, Chris was kind enough to share uh, experience he had with me at a mastermind we connected and, and through a Facebook group, we st you and I started talking. And then as you had some client uh, side work that was going on, um, some kind of conversation happened because I got an email from you. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of like what happened in this situation? Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course, Nate. It's my pleasure. I'll uh, try my best. But I think it's been a few years now, right, where we met in uh, at your mastermind in Texas. Yep. Um, you know, met on Ecom Empire's Facebook group and all that, started chatting away. We have a bunch of mutual friends and connections and so forth. I mean, I even saw you, I think, at iStack before, beforehand or whatever the case was. And so, right, we're all in the same group. And um, I mean, I wanted to go to your mastermind to, to just learn and connect with people and network with everybody else and a great group and love it. Went went numerous times. And, and uh, you know, there's another, let me know. But, the, but um, I kind of, I think in the back of my head, um, I had, I think I had a few clients at that time with my agency and I was doing a number of different things. I was still even doing lead gen at that time, but I was working with different e-com companies, but a couple of the companies that I was working with, I knew that the owners wanted to sell. Right. And one in particular, I knew sort of was looking for that specifically down the line. And so in terms of networking, I, I think I had it in the back of my head that, right. If I meet, um, right, people that deal with the sales and transactions of e-commerce businesses online, you know, from one party to the other and people that are most likely going to meet people that have a lot of experience in that space. They've been doing it for a lot longer than I have. Um, so this would be like a great way to keep this, you know, th this in my in, in my back pocket so that with the clients that I have that are looking to sell the company, I can um, refer them to the right people. That's kind of the background to, I think, the referral or the connection that we had. But then, I mean, giving you the re the referral was just sort of um, a no brainer because you had all the experience in the world and then you transferred to website closer. And it was like even more of a reason for you to work on um, the sale of, of e-com businesses. And so uh, I think I made the connection with you and the owner, you know, uh, and the CEO of, of one of the brands quite a few years ago, we went through quite a bit. They, you guys went through quite a bit in order to sell the company. And here we are in, you know, in November here of 2021. And um, the, the company has been sold successfully, thanks to you. Thank you. Well, and thanks to you too. Um, what, what did it feel like to get such a, you know, a, a monster wire? And, you know, so many people are lip service when it comes to referral. I can't tell you how many people tell me, Nate, send me referrals, send me referrals, and nothing ever happens. But you got a big payday. What did that feel like? Oh, it feels amazing. It feels like um, a great, you know, pat on the back for a lot of, I think, um, hard work done in terms of partnership with clients and with <clears throat> networking beforehand and a lot of the investments that you make in yourself and your your business and your company and it just it all comes back and then some and so it's such a great feeling to um, I mean the referral fee itself right was <clears throat> quite large and I didn't have to do too much for that right like I had to sort of make the connection and um, make sure that you know both both parties have a warm introduction and things are going well and loop some sort of, you know, small communication hole. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm just so appreciative for that, Nate. And, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing to, um, you know, be able to work on this and hopefully work on more together as well. Absolutely. You know, it, it's uh, digital marketing agencies and, and, uh, uh, and, and people that are involved in business to business services to e-commerce companies are in an amazing position to be able to uh, credibly uh, refer, you know, their clients to an m and advisor uh, when the time comes. You know, I had a conversation the other day with, uh, uh, with a client that I actually just referred back to you. Uh, who he's thinking about a sale. So it's it's a back and forth. You've referred me business. I'm referring you business. I know. And uh, he's got a brand that he does a lot of internal uh, digital marketing work and was asking me, okay, what do I need to do to transition this? Because he wants to keep his, his talent 
for other parts of his other brands. He's got several brands. And I told him, okay, well, we need to we we need to get the marketing part outsourced. We need to get you know the email part outsourced. We need to get a couple of sections outsourced ahead of time, because right. that will be a sticking point with buyers. So when you know when somebody comes to me and tells me what their situation is going to look like, it could be a year or two from now. Like like in this case, it took us a while, and that one was unique because the size of it. It was growing from you know uh, uh, from just under a million dollars in, in profitability to over almost almost four million we almost had five million at one point in time in trailing 12 months profitability and the buyers for those have a particular uh uh what do you call it they've got they've got a, a barrier of entry that they need to see to be able to acquire something you know like that yeah exactly and unfortunately i can't provide as many referrals back to you as you can to me because I got to work in so many day-to-day -day operations of some of the brands and it takes so much time to um, create any type of partnership or um, you know long-standing uh, revenue that's that's going to be consistent for the long term that's going to be attractive to a buyer whether or not it's, yeah. it's a small business now or it's already a large business and maintaining that there's so much that goes involved so I'm trying to build bigger teams and networks to be able to do that and be affiliated with other brands so that yeah again i can refer more to you or you you know you you i have time to examine other referrals from you as well well you're a young guy and you're really talented i have no doubt that you're going to be doing this for uh, for a long time and uh, it's been so. it's been my pleasure to uh, to receive your referral so thank you sir um thank you. treat them with care respect and attention and uh we got them a huge win we will be able to do a lot of work together over the years and so i appreciate this uh, this referral and i know as you're out there networking and someone says anything about a sale you're gonna go nate exactly <laughs> you know i'm gonna do that for you for sure and i'm so grateful too nate thank you so much for all the hard work you put into this sale i know it took a lot much more than i'm aware of um there were numerous ups and downs fallouts you know buy back in and so forth and so on so yeah, definitely a testament to your will to like get this all of this done and and have it go through and support um, my clients, which I truly, truly appreciate. And then also um, supporting me as well. And so, yeah, it's been it's been a great experience. Thank you so much. You're absolutely welcome. Well, the feeling is mutual. And uh, for those of you watching, listening, if you find any interest or value in what we just discussed, smash the like button below, leave a comment. Uh, wherever you see this, whether it's on uh, YouTube or LinkedIn or, or elsewhere, if you're involved in e-commerce and you've got some clients that ever mention, you know, thinking about selling, I'd be humbly appreciative to talk with them, share with them a marketing strategy, a business valuation, and the outlook on the dynamics right now, because it is hot selling online businesses. This is your favorite online business broker, Nate Lind. Thank you very much.